Hey, I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. We're glad you're here. Subscribe to this channel. We appreciate that. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Yep. And check out the podcast below in the description. Subscribe to it and share it with your amigos. The Bengal Raider game the first time around was closer than the final score, 32 to 13. Derek Carr had two turnovers in the last five minutes of that game. An interception, a bad interception at around five minutes, and then a fumble after the game was kind of over. Uh, it was 10 to six at halftime. It was 16 to 13, kind of beginning the fourth quarter after Raiders scored a touchdown. Um, but I also think that score was closer than the game was. I thought the Bengals had control um, for most of that game. I think a couple things really stood out rewatching it. One, both teams created problems for both quarterbacks. The Raiders did a great job getting to Burrow. They forced a fumble early on a sack. They actually got him two other times where he kind of lost the ball. The ball was clearly not a fumble. He was clearly down, but they were just creating problems for him a lot. Jamar Chase had a second lowest receiving total of the year, 32 yards, um, only had three catches. But Burrow, Burrow and the Bengals missed a couple of opportunities with him deep. Burrow underthrew him once when he had a guy beat, and then the ball got there in double coverage too late another time. So I could see Jamar Chase. They they, they were trying. They got him a couple end arounds in that game. Burrow only threw for 148 yards in the game. Yeah, it was the, – the Raiders got after his ass. And I think that's the number one reason you would like the Raiders again today. Because I uh, this week, I think it's going to be hard to score again for the Raiders. And that's not even a temperature thing. It's going to be 31 degrees. It could be snowy. We'll see what the forecast says. Maybe some snow on Sunday. What, Saturday might be 31, no snow. I think the Raiders are going to get after Joe Burrow again. And the question I have is, can Derek Carr, when the Bengals get pressure – Again, with only four, create opportunities. Darren Waller playing that game played well. There were not many throws down the field for the Raiders in that game. Like, have they developed a little more with Zay Jones since they played that game? Or can they find other ways to be consistent in the pass game? Because I think I think they're going to get to Joe. But Jamar Chase is going to make a play here or there. And can the Raiders match it? Well, wouldn't you say the way they're going to win this game is if it's probably in the teens? They they need to win like nineteen to sixteen. They they're not going to win a game if you tell me the Bengals get they're not to, scoring thirty three. If you tell me the Bengals get to twenty eight, I tell you the Raiders are losing. The Raiders don't score that many points. The, the Raiders, I think the last nine games scored thirty points twice. And in fair, like no one people understand, right? It's it's understandable why they're there. They don't their offensive firepower doesn't exist. So to me, the key with Derek is, and he's done it a couple times this year. And I don't totally blame him down the stretch, but he's thrown some turnover. He's thrown some passes for picks that he hasn't thrown the previous two years, and it felt like he's kind of he had to push the envelope a little bit. I this is what we talked about with playoff football. I don't think he can't afford to do that. And I, I read this article that Vic Tafer did on him today. He's like, well, a couple of them turned out, and it's hard to tell with a quote. He might have been laughing, like turned out to be long punts. I don't know if you can just do the long punt turnover on second and 10. You know, I, that's just, that's not good football. Because you're just, what if you could keep running the clock? What if you, who knows, could get a field goal out of that drive eventually if you're at like your own 30, if you could get another 30, 40 yards. To me, turnovers in these one-off games are just, he can't throw picks. And for the most part, Derek does not just throw your typical like Jimmy Garoppolo pick. But he does do the one where he's like, fuck it. And he, he's done it this year. He, he got rid of it under Gruden. And then once Gruden left and Ruggs left, he, he didn't really have a choice, so he kind of pushes the envelope. But you can't throw in a double coverage with Zay Jones down the field. And let's face it, Deshaun Jackson, you know, there's a reason McVay's like, yeah, bro, you can leave if you want. Like, he's just got it's over. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, sports yeah. cars out of gas. You know, so it's just put that thing in the garage, call it a career. It's been real. But <laughs> that's he hasn't brought much to the table. So they're very, very dependent on basically four guys, right? Waller, Jacobs, Renfro, Zay Jones. And, and, and maybe Edwards a little bit, but this is type game for Edwards. It's like, okay, you ready, bro? This is he's, it's going to be cold. Be, the other thing with the Raiders, their team is loaded with skill guys, right? I mean, Jamar Chase, offensive rookie of the year. Higgins, I mean, they're they that's a second round Stand-up double might be on third 
I mean, that's a great pick. Mixon is a stud. Ran for 130 yards in that first game. Uh, who's their third receiver? Boyd, who's really good. Yep. So, I mean, they got firepower. The tight end, who I didn't even know until that Thursday night game. The Thursday been game, yeah. Good all season long, number 87. Like, they they got some firepower. And obviously, their quarterback, if we did the hypothetical draft that's never happened in the history of humanity that every person that talks for a living or fan just always brings up, Burrow would go really know. high. Burrow's go really high. Like, Burrow's better than Derek. But Derek is more experienced than Burrow. So it's like, maybe does Joe throw a bad pick? Can Derek just play the ultimate game that Gruden created, but balance, like, if you get an opportunity to take a couple shots, take the shots. But to me, he can't take the shots where it's just throw it up there. And he's yeah, done that I a little bit the second half. And he did it at the Browns game, and he did it the Browns game. They got away with it big time. I think you he, just nailed it. I think he did. Did he do it in the Charger game? I don't know if he did. The Browns game was a, the Browns game is maybe the one I'm thinking of. I think you just nailed it because I, I think the Bengals play the type of defense that frustrates you, and then eventually, I think his yards, his uh, what is it, a dot average depth of target in the first half of that Bengal game I read was three yards, three yards in the first half of that game. Right, that's how far down the field they're throwing the ball. Not they far, dunk. the Raiders. Yeah. But again, if you can get to Burrow, that might work. Here's the thing. The Bengals at the end of the first half of that game went kind of hurry up, two-minute offense, and it worked because Burrow was getting rid of the ball really quick and wasn't giving the Raiders' defense a chance to get to him. If I'm the Bengals, I do the same thing. I The blueprint from the last game is what I do on defense. You try to create pressure with four and see if you can get Derek to kind of get impatient. The interception he threw late, he had a receiver open in the flat. Instead, he tried to like layer it on the sideline over one defender in front of another and it just it's it's a really hard throw to make, and it got intercepted. I think part of that was probably looking back on it, it's frustrating to play the Bengals because they create pressure, but they don't do it with the blitz, which Derek would love for you to blitz. Derek knows what Derek's very smart. You start sending blitzes, Derek knows where to throw the football, right? Well, I saw I saw I read some quotes from their defensive coordinator, Lou something. He's like, This guy's really been impressive the second half since we've played him. Like he's just like, This guy knows what's coming. You know, I think it's going to take patience and patience to not be the guy that like a lot of times we tell him to be like, get, get the ball down the field. It's going to take patience. Um, but again, I think the the question, like if the bank, I wouldn't be shocked, John, if the Bengals come out and try to move quickly with their offense, like get a first down and then kind of go old school warp speed and just keep burrow getting rid of the ball fast. Cause they can do it right. You just mentioned when you've got that many uh, talented uh, options skill to throw guys. the ball to yeah. skill guys. You can just do that. You can just get the ball out fast to somebody and see if they can run a little bit. So, sideshow? Vin Diesel down here uh, racing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I, that, that's what I would do if I were Cincinnati. And then, and then you know, they do a good job of getting pressure with four. So, uh, I think the Raiders can win the game. I You know, it, this is a bro. Like, for this is a good opening guys, game. This is a good a opening great, game. For one of these guys, it's an incredible game for their careers. Right? Yeah. Well, this I, is, could, it's all been building up to this for Derek. A lot of pressure in that way, just from you don't get these many opportunities with the Raiders. It's just the beginning of something new for them. You you and, would say the one thing for Burrow, he's a stud, but that division's hard. Like the Ravens ain't going anywhere. Steelers just retool. The Browns just have a talented roster. Like it's it's not an it, it ain't the NFC South, right? I mean, there's just, there's no cupcakes. That's why and it's I, so I, impressive what Burrow's done. He actually blew out, I think, a lot of those teams this year somehow. The Ravens are bad on defense. He went for 700 yards, remember? They had 17 guys on COVID or whatever. Yeah. But is Joe Burrow going to just play a year as a starter and just take the Bengals to a playoff win? Incredible opening to a career. By year two, off a major injury, win the division and win a playoff game at home. That's He's ahead of schedule. Like Google, like Elway and Marine. I mean, it's not this easy. I guess Marino got to the Super Bowl like year two, but that's the thing is Joe's twenty. He never got back. Like he was in college for five years. You know? Yeah, he's a little older, but uh, but it is just incredible display of hitting the ground running. Somebody who has not had playoff success is about to win a playoff game like that. To me, is Derek Carr either is about to deliver a playoff win for the Raiders or Joe Burrow is about to deliver a playoff win for the Bengals. And either you one know, of those stories is cool. You know, the last time the Bengals won a playoff game, what year? Uh, 1991, I think. Yeah, good knowledge. 
Only because I saw a great tweet this week, a meme or whatever. It's both information. There's never in the history of time been a text message sent about the Bengals winning a playoff game because the first text was sent in 1992. 92? 92 was the first like test text. I wonder what the charge was for that. <laughs> you had to fly to the moon, I think, to send uh. it. It's a good thing you didn't have that on a oh, shit. young, you know, fifth grade John Middlecoff. Can you imagine before text existed? Like it's so easy to communicate. No one, we don't need to talk. We can just text. 